caught the ladder. But am I really a giver? If I don't give to myself, don't take care of my health. Care for everyone else. I usually give away my best. But get into this reset. Get into this reset. Get into this reset. Take a skill for something called the light. Get into this reset. Yeah. I'ma adjust my clock like day. Like savings next era. I'm locked and I ain't playing about me. You think I'm acting brand new? But this was me before you. Ain't nothing to start over. Hold me on a new vibe. She blowing my high, gotta recalibrate my Hey, this is one of my favorite perfumes. I've got makeup on in a vlog. Can you believe it? <laughs> this is one of my favorite perfumes. This is a Mont Blanc perfume. I don't know what it's called. Woo! It fell on the bed. It fell on the bed. We're okay. Uh, it's a Mont Blanc perfume. Just, I want you to have a look at the shape and maybe try and why just Mont Blanc of gas everywhere I go. Even my sister was like what is this and i was giving somebody a hug the other day and i gave that person a hug and they were like you smell nice what is that i don't know what it's called however i will say to you that it's a great perfume and i highly highly think if you're a perfume lover definitely try it out um uh, it's not written i just know it's made in france okay <laughs> But definitely try and Google it. It's it's a pretty bottle. It's a pretty pretty bottle. Last finally time to change these shoes. We are in winter now, so these 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 are not gonna work. These are not gonna work. So it's time to swap them out for my winter booties. And let's do that now. Let's do that now. Absolutely love these. This is one of my favorite pairs from Aldo. I love them. Love has so much, my darling. I like to have them out so that I can, when I'm getting dressed, if I'm going out, I can have 
look at what the options are. So normally I just put boots down here and it kind of all transforms from all of that color basically to black. <laughs> but what's new? <laughs> also absolutely love these ones. These are more patent. These are from Zara. Very, very comfortable. I love these booties. Love it so much, my darling, my dear. I love it so much. All right, let's put... And then, of course, the white ones. Love these. Got these from Fushini last year and around winter time. Absolutely love them. Another nice Chelsea flat pair. These are so beautiful. These are from Zara, I think. Yes. Zara Woman, shop pointed. Love them. Love them so much. Esana no no say noise. I don't get how young people talk these days. It's kind of crazy. Booties. Do I have any? I've got brown ones as well. One pair of brown Chelsea's as well. Love these. Got these years ago, but I love them for the days that I'm wearing creams and browns and they're super, super comfortable. I'm going to put these there. And these are from Zara, but they are cutouts. So you can see how it looks. I often wear them a lot in winter when I'm wearing like stockings or that kind of thing. Very, very cute shoes, these. So we're going to put these there as well. And for now, I don't want to clutter it with too many shoes. For now, that's fine. Here that we go. I might change my mind a little bit later on, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Maybe I might just swap out that bag as well and put on another one. We'll see. But for now, that's okay. That, that'll do. So the, reason, the reason I actually have makeup on is because I was shooting some content for a Vodacom campaign, but also I was shooting content for a the Life by Design, the Life Coaching TikTok page. I don't know if you are aware that I also give quite sound advice. <laughs> I also give quite sound advice on my life coaching pages and I have a TikTok page and a Instagram page where I talk about it, it's not just fun kicking monate monate times no i actually talk about serious things and dealing with relationships and personal development and mental health and yeah it's called life by design underscore katleo it's on tiktok and it's on what you call instagram as well so i was shooting that all morning did a bit of laundry it's going there can you see it it's going over there but now I haven't eaten and it's going on two o'clock and that's madness. This is how I can prove to you I was recording here. Have a look. See, see that hand over there? Yeah, my, my lounge is looking kinda not happy with that. Look, look, this, one of the things I do a lot is that open drawers, that's one thing I will always do and it's actually frustrating me, so. So I can't quite decide what I want to eat. But I have remembered that I haven't watered my plants in over a week. So that's what I'm going to do first. And then I really feel like having oats. It's very cold today. It's extremely cold today. And I believe they said on the news that tomorrow is going to be one of the coldest days of the year so far. So I can imagine that today is going to be, it's going to drop and drop and drop as the hours go by, which kind of sucks. <laughs> I love winter and I'm a winter baby and I will take winter over summer any day. I don't like to feel hot and uncomfortable and not know how to cool down. I prefer winter. Winter is one of my favorite months, seasons. Um, but right now, I don't know what to eat. There's a big part of me that's like, have oats. It's great. It's hearty. It's warm. And then there's a part of me that's like, avocado on toast. Or like, um like an avocado roll, right, right, right? I don't know. And then one of the other big things I want to do is actually take this face off. So maybe let's do that. And I can catch you up on what's been happening. I always say catch you up on what's been happening. And every time I put the camera on, I forget. I forget to catch you up. So let's do that actually, let's do that. Let me go take my face off, chat. And my phone has been on silent 
all morning, but it's fine. This is the nice part about knowing that you're not gonna leave the house shooting all day. I can take the makeup off as soon as I'm done. I don't, contrary to popular belief, I do not like keeping makeup on. I don't. As I was saying, contrary to popular, contrary to popular belief, I don't like keeping makeup on. I actually like my face when it's bare and I don't have to worry about what I have. Oh no. And if I want to lie down or relax on the couch, now I need to be careful. No, no. So I need to send out a couple of emails. I haven't even looked at my emails today. YouTube. Yay. Okay. I got, I got a couple of emails from people wanting to know about my life coaching services. So that's so nice. <sighs> yeah, because I did receive some bad news with regards to something that could have potentially happened in Women's Month. Um, they wanted, they pitched me for that particular event and I think the, the, the people in power, the powers that be, decided that they're going to go with someone else. So that really hurt my feelings. It really did. I really wanted to do something with them, but it's fine. Women's Month is coming. Um, Mental Health Awareness Month in South Africa is coming. That's in October. Women's Month is in uh, August. And those are the months that I really look forward to because I do a lot of speaking engagements in those months. Um, I, yeah, yeah. So I'm hoping that the work will come. Let me take this face off, chat. I bought this, I think, months ago. I bought this months ago. I wanted to tell you about this. I bought this months ago. This is, these are the Godox mics. And the reason why I bought these, these are the ones you just attached to here. The reason why I bought these is because my friend and I are starting a podcast. The first episode was supposed to go out in the first week or second week of July, but uh, things have been happening and I've been busy with stuff and work and she's been busy as well and she was traveling and stuff. So we couldn't get to do what we needed to do. But this is why these mics are here. Okay, I'm covering the price. <laughs> the price for these mics is 4.8 and they're quite expensive but they're really really good they're much like the road mics as well they're really good and um you have a i'll tell you what is in there we have a transmitter and you have a, a two mics you've got a transmitter and you've got two mics so because it's going to be me and her in that podcast every single time uh i needed to get mics for the both of us I know that um, it'll take some time before the podcast yields results but we have uh, made a commitment to reimburse the girl once that happens and I cannot wait because it's a lot of money okay you take my face off chair um, but yeah so really oh, oh it's such a great looking face Thank you to my parents and to God for my face. Anyway, <laughs> it's got to come off. But uh, yeah, so something happened to me recently. You know, I, I, I want to say to you guys, don't ever, 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 ever sleep on your intuition. Do you understand what I'm saying? Ooh, that's different. <laughs> don't ever, ever sleep on your intuition. If there is a part of you that's telling you that something about this interaction doesn't seem right. Something still seems off. Whether it's an interaction that you're having with a friend or an interaction that you're having with at work, whether you've just met somebody and something feels off, listen to your intuition. Something happened to me recently where I was like, okay, I get that this is happening, but so something feels off about this. And, and I, I don't know whether to trust it. And I realized a little bit afterwards why I didn't trust it, because it kind of all fell apart. And this is with, with um, 
you know, this isn't with a stranger or whatever. This is with someone I know. And it was an interaction with someone I know. And I knew there was a part of me that was just like, Kondwe Ofla, Kondwe Ofla. And because of it, I didn't want to invest too much of my uh, mental capacity thinking about it. Um, you know, I didn't want to get too wound up over it or too excited over it or too um, in my feelings about that situation and that encounter. And I realized that I was right. I was right. And let me tell you something. Don't ever ignore your intuition. You hear my chats? Don't ever ignore that, hun. I'm going to go and wash my face. I'm going to go wash my face and put on some skincare and be the skincare cutie that I am. I wanted to show you some Zara bits that I got, but to be honest, I'll place them here because they've all been put away. No, they haven't. Okay, wait, I'll show you. <laughs> They're over there. I just saw them now. Lily, who, who um, keeps my house very, very spotless and is one of the loves of my life, truly. Lily, when I buy something, trust, Lily will put it away. Lily will take things out of boxes. Lily will hear. Lily is the hand she thinks she is, honestly. Honestly. But yeah, so I got some Zara clothing bits because it is the winter time. But if you do follow me on Instagram, TikTok, you know that I regularly do these OOTDs uh, where I show you what I'm wearing and all of that. And these are some of the things that I picked up from Zara a while ago. And if you follow me on TikTok and all of that, you will you you will have seen some of these. Um, but for winter, and because we're in winter, I really oh my god, I got this stunning jersey. I will put a picture of me wearing it on on the side here. Uh, I don't want to unfold it and all of that. It's just too much work. But I got this stunning, stunning jersey from Zara. This cream and black one. Could you imagine this with a pair of jeans? Skinny jeans, maybe some Chelsea boots, maybe some heeled boots, my, my babe. And then with a black coat on top. Gosh, gosh. And then now you know, Hori Winter is my season. Even my attire and my clothing is much better in winter. I just love my winter clothing. I just do, okay? And then one of the pieces, it's like a two-piece, uh, that is on my Zara clips. It's like a skirt and uh, jersey. And the, 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 I don't know what material this is, but my goodness, it is so soft. I don't know, just says made in Turkey chow, and I'm not going to unfold this, to be honest. But this, it's like a cream jersey and skirt combination, and I'll show you in a reel or video or picture here. Absolutely loved it. I got the jersey, I think, was around six or seven hundred rand. This together was about nine hundred, eight, nine hundred rand. And not only did I get the cream, when I love something, I will get it in different colors. That is me. That is, that is how I operate. <laughs> it's just, but I got it in gray as well. And I was wearing it on my birthday. So like, that's honestly like over a month ago at the stage. So I bought them quite a while ago and I love them so much. I was wearing the gray one on my birthday and I tell you, it turned heads. Basically, what I'm trying to say is Zara has great things for winter. I'm not really a fan of Zara for the summertime because I feel like uh, unless I am buying something for a specific occasion, I just feel like the style of Zara clothing in the summertime is just not me. I'm typically someone who would gravitate more in the summertime to Country Road or uh, Witchery or Trinery. Um, I just like the sort of like elegant, not too much color, very easy on the body, something that just slips in, slips out, off, uh, slips on, slips off. Uh, I don't like tight things and all of that. And I think it's because, you know, of my age and getting older. Um, do I like tight things to look sexy for certain occasions? Yeah, I'll wear myself a good bodysuit, tight leather pants, whatever. I will. But those are kind of the, the, the specific pieces 
that are nice to have when you look through your wardrobe but for just daily wear and casual slash elegante wear i typically prefer country road trinery what else do i prefer yeah somewhere there somewhere there <laughs> unique is actually really good it's got nice dresses as well but yeah anyway so i'm gonna go i'm gonna answer all these emails I need to send out some texts to clients because I'm taking sessions next week. So I need a little bit of admin stuff that I need to do, but I'm gonna eat first and then we'll handle all of that. And I need to go do my nails, <sighs> girl. Anyway, it never ends, does it, my babe? It never ends. So I know that you guys seem to love the voice recording. So here we are, I'm doing a voiceover, right? I just wanted to share some thoughts over the last week and one of them is it's definitely time for me to take a YouTube break. Okay, if there is content that you are going to see on my YouTube channel, chances are it's sponsored content. I can't say with what company or brand yet, but you will see content on my TikTok and my YouTube sponsored content. Anyway, never mind, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I just think in the meantime, I just need a little bit of a break. I post two videos roughly each and every single week. And the analytics are not analyticking for me. Something just doesn't seem to be coming together with the YouTube algorithm. And it's really putting me at a place of just despondency and just exhausted. I'm drained and I'm tired. And there are other things in my life right now that I like to give my attention to, you know, just things, okay? And I think for the next two weeks, I just want to focus on that. I just want to, you know, there's other platforms. I really love TikTok. I don't know if you're not following me on TikTok. Follow me on there, girl. Um, but for now, YouTube, I just need to go back to center. I need to recollect. I need to take a break. And I'll be back very, very soon. This day, I was going to work with my dad because I work with my dad and we decided to be parents who bring a kid to work day on this day and we took my sister with us and she wanted to see what we do when we take our little work day excursions and on this day we had been invited out to a factory a coral brick factory where they make bricks and if you guys know I am in the construction and civil engineering space so Excursions like this happen from time to time. So we had gone to see this amazing, fully automated factory. And my sister got to see how bricks are made. And she was so fascinated. And she had such a great time. And I had a great time. But, you know, we do this quite a lot with my dad on days where we take excursion to different factories or pump stations or things like that. So it was really nice to spend the day with my sister and then have a late lunch to kind of wrap up the day. It was a really, really good week, a busy week. If you do see any content from me on YouTube, it'll probably be sponsored content, so please do engage with it. But for now, I'm going to bid you a farewell, maybe a week, maybe two, but we'll see. But I'll see you very, very soon. Take care of yourselves, okay?